The case shocked Macomb County when the newborn's body was found. And our Nick Monticelli joining us live now at the Mount Clemens Courthouse. Nick, with a first degree murder conviction, the sentence is mandatory? It is, Everett. In all cases, the sentence is mandatory, so not a whole lot of surprise in the courtroom when Angela Alexi was handed that life in prison sentence. However, there, there was some surprise when Alexi said that she was sorry. Big surprise, though. No one believes her. That is the sound of photographers in court documenting the moments before Angela Alexi was sentenced to life in prison. That sentence was no surprise, though. It is mandatory with a conviction of first degree murder. I don't have anything to say. You have nothing to say? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. I don't. I didn't mean for it to happen. I. I don't know. I wish I could take it all back. A jury convicted Alexi last month on Christmas Eve 2014. She gave birth to a baby boy in a garage and left him there in the freezing cold to die. She later put his body in a recycling container. He was found by workers on a conveyor belt. The Macomb County community named him Henry. This case disgusts me. This woman had all kinds of options and, and we know there are thousands of parents out there waiting to adopt young children. In court, Alexi told the judge she was sorry and remorseful. The Macomb County prosecutor does not buy it. The minute she posted pictures of herself showing her new slim figure on social media, I knew that she was happy that this child was gone. Now back out here live, because there is a life in prison sentence, there is an automatic appeal process that does begin. Then coming up later on, first at four, there was a group of students in the courtroom. We'll tell you why a little bit later on. We're live here in Mont Clemens, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.